Hello good people. If you have your business in more than one marketplace, it is havoc to keep the stock and price updated for all the marketplaces. Or even more, if you have a lot of items listed, how do you think you can maintain the inventory and the price? Updating the stock and price one by one is really time taking and not a smart solution. Here comes the app Sellbright. This is Jahid from Ecomclips. In our last video, we have already seen how to get started with Sellbright and integrate the marketplaces. In this video, we will show you how to manage inventory stock, price and set custom rules for synchronizing price and inventory automatically through Sellbright. Before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Ecomclips and hit the bell icon. First, let's directly jump into the listing section. And here, we will need to click on the listings from the top bar. Then let's go to the Amazon for instance. On the active section, we will see all the listings that we have live on Amazon. When I put the mouse on the link icon, we will see the linking status if it is linked or not. If the item is linked with the warehouse, we will see a green check mark. If it is not linked, the check mark will be gone and the red sign will appear. To link an item, we will need to know the exact SKU of that item. Let's go and open an item. Inside the product identifier section, we will find the SKU. Now, let's go to the warehouse and check if the same exact SQ is associated with the same item or not. Finally, we are now good enough to go and link the item for synchronizing the stock inventory and the price. Now, click on the link icon and mark it to link the product. A pop-up window will appear for matching the SQ. Now, put the right SQ and find your item. Then click again on the select button. There you go. All is set now. From now on, the stock inventory and price will automatically be synchronized for this item from your warehouse store. At the next step, we will see how to add custom rules in pricing and inventory, which will allow us to set a limit to pass inventory and adjust pricing for different marketplaces. To do that, first we need to go to the sales channel integrations from the setting menu. Then we will need to go to the setting icon from the far right. Here we will find the pricing menu. Now go to the pricing adjustment and set the increase or decrease with the percentage value. Same for the inventory, we can set the value that we want to get from the warehouse and we can set a value that we don't want to pass. Even more, we can set the max and minimum value of the amount that we want to pass or not. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If yes, please like, comment and share this video with your friends. If you have anything more to know about Cellbrite, please don't hesitate to write down your questions in the comment section. You can also check out our website www.ecomclips.com. That's all for today. In our next video, we will show how to create shipping levels via Cellbrite. Take care, stay safe, see you soon.